The youths, they say, are the leaders of tomorrow. But how much are today's youths ready to lead, especially in the face of growing unemployment and advancement of new media? That's the focus of this year's annual Sarah Shosson Leadership Summit. Conscious of the importance of youth in the development of the nation, the Sarah Adebisi Shosson Foundation put together this leadership summit for youths in Ojo local government area and its environs. The annual event is part of the foundation's growth plan designed for youth to increase their leadership abilities, allow them to gain ideas and thoughts from practical advice. That day I wrote. Thriving on the theme, pursuing your dream, resource persons brought their experience to bear, exposing participants to practical steps to self-development and how they can realize their potentials. Areas covered include how to start up a business and opportunities in agriculture. You can start with what you have. And you can also encourage yourself. Start. You're making one naira, two naira. The money is so little. But whatever it is that you're doing, please make impact. It should not just be about the money. My dream is coming to pass now. I have 499 young Africans across Africa that want us to come to their country. This year, we launched the first franchise library in the world. There's the input side of agriculture. I hope you are seeing. That input side is you have materials. People want to farm. They want to buy seed. They will buy chemical. They will buy abi cutlass. Some, they will not go as low as cutlass. They will go and rent tractor to produce. You can go into that aspect of business. We are building changes. You are six with ten. We are six changes. You are one with ten. One of the inspiring sessions was on volunteerism. Social development lawyer encourages youth to give themselves to volunteering, a virtue which, according to him, will build them to take leadership challenges. Leadership is ability to take responsibility for yourself and those who look up to you. So if you imbibe the spirit of volunteering, the spirit of giving, the day you finally, if you get to power, for example, for example, you are elected as a political leader, you have already imbibed that culture of giving. That is what made them to avail to win an election. However, development experts believe that the dream of the average youth is being distracted by many factors, including technology advancement. Social media is it's good, but it's also time consuming. You just sit down there and you see that all you're doing for almost four hours is checking off from what, what this one is doing, what that one is doing. And those are times that you really, really need to do something more important. That is there. But you can also use it to acquire knowledge. You can also use it to grow yourself. Some of the participants shared their thoughts about the discussions held here. They have been able to cover what we are really lacking in the modern youth of today. We lack information, which is the basic things that we lack as a youth of Lagos, as a youth of Nigeria. And the access to a good information is access to good um, progress of the state. I'm really passionate about impact creation, and um, this foundation has really done much in that. So that's what attracted me all the way from Oweri, to come and learn what they're doing here, and also see how I can replicate it in my own state. Besides these motivational talks, the foundation says it is also involved in empowerment to assist these youths to actualize their dreams. Some of them we have to train them in small, small things that even we can attach them to some of the vocational centers that Lagos State have. And we can also assist them. Like even this year, we had um, the women empowerment thing that we have to assist them with a small amount of 20k to add to their capital. And it's yielding because we go around to see what they are doing. And it's yielding food. Sarah Adebisi Shosa Foundation emphasizes on the transformation of the rural dwellers, enabling them to contribute their quota to national development. Well, that's where we draw the curtain on the program this week. We sincerely appreciate your company as we look forward to your comments and feedback. Keep a date with us same time next week. I am BC Adebayo. Bye.